there's tons and tons of these, buddy. So I kind of wanted to, and maybe that's a good place to start with some of the narrative out there. What's the good part about the training you went through, not only as a peace officer early on, but then as a leader and commander uh, of, uh, of the Santa Rosa the Police Department? What does that look like? What is that? What is it? It's... So we have we have two types of training. We have uh, mandated training, which is mandated by by post, which is the um, the commission, the state commission that oversees policing in California sets the training standards. And uh, most of that stuff is perishable skills. Not all of it, but a lot of it is. We have to keep up on things that uh, you have to do repeatedly, arrest and control that sort of thing. And that and that's what everybody goes through. But then there's specialized training depending on what uh what your job duty is you know if you get assigned to investigations uh, detective team if you're doing uh traffic uh enforcement if that's your specialty there's there's different collision investigation courses um it's a lot of training I mean, it's thousands of hours of training over a career um i don't think it's enough i think we need more training i think police officers need more training um in a, a, along with the, the current training they get, they're getting they have to know they have to be able to to use the basic tools you have to be able to arrest and control people without getting hurt without hurting yourself without hurting others uh you got to know the law you got to know the constitution you have to keep pounding that over and over again because these police officers out on the street are making critical decisions in a matter of seconds or fractions of a second yeah and 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 that can have a real difference on the outcome of whatever the incident is um <clears throat> But I think, you know, over the last few years, I think it's brought to light some of the things we really need to train in. You know, I think we talked about this the other day about implicit bias, which everybody in the Santa Rosa Police Department has gone through that training. Um, okay. The county puts on a, a 36 hour mental health uh, dealing with with people who are emotionally disturbed and have mental health issues. Um, we try to get all of our I think I, I looked a couple of years ago, I think 75 percent of our officers had had that. Um, okay probably less now with COVID because it's, it's a class you have to go to, you know, but um, police officers in our community are asked to deal with so many different things than what you think, you know, the average, if you talk to a, a six-year-old kid and ask what a police officer does, you know, they're, they're, they would have this minuscule little picture, you know, they, they stop people and give them tickets or they take bad guys to jail. And it's just, <laughs> we know it's, it's so much more than that. I mean, we are the 24 seven solution to literally every single problem in our community. Now, how do you train somebody to handle all of that and handle it perfectly? Because that's the expectation, right? Right. 